So after 31 long years, the Battle of Alberta is back. And as per, tra as per tradition, Mayor Sohi and I have connected to place a fun wager on the outcome of the playoff series between our two teams. In the losing cities, uh, what will happen in the losing city is the mayor and hopefully all of council will wear the opposing team's jersey. Sounds pretty familiar. What we also agreed to, though, is the losing team at the first council meeting following the end of the series, the mayor will be in full face paint celebrating the opposing team. So that's a little bit of a David Putty reference from Seinfeld for anyone who's interested. Uh, the Losing City Council will also donate either to Kids with Cancer Society in Edmonton or Kids Cancer Care in Calgary in recognition of Ben Stelter's fight with brain cancer. It's fitting that the month of May is Brain Tumor Awareness Month. Ben has been incredibly brave in this past year and all hockey fans are cheering him on. So Kids with Cancer Society and Kids Cancer Care are organizations that help families as well as children cope with the emotional, educational, and financial burdens that they are bearing so that they can actually focus on helping their kids get well. Kids with Cancer, Care, kids with Cancer Society in Edmonton has made a very big difference in the lives of Ben and his family, and both Edmonton City Council and Calgary City Council would like to amplify the great work of these two organizations throughout Alberta. I'm confident that I will not be donning orange and blue paint at the June 7th council meeting, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing Mayor Sohi wearing the flame C on his face. Tomorrow, city administration and I will announce other city celebration plans, so please keep your ear to the ground on that one. And with that, my colleagues and I are wishing the flames nothing but the best, and we will only accept victory. Go flames. Go flames. Go flames. Go flames. Go flames. <laughs> Any questions? How much is that financial donation from, from you would be? Sorry, so that, how much is that financial donation? How much would it be? The financial donation is something that we're still hammering out, uh, but it will likely be something that um, you know all of council will contribute to. So once we have that amount, we'll let everyone know. It's been quick turnaround trying to get this thing announced. So it's not a city donation if the council members are opening their own pockets. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Any friendly uh, smack talk to the mayor of Edmonton? <sighs> Mayor Sohi is a wonderful man, and I think he would look very good in red and black. So I'm very much looking forward to that moment. He's going down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mayor, the last Battle of Alberta was 31 years ago. Yes. Can you tell us where you were at that time, and what do you remember of that series? Well, 31 years ago, I was not in Alberta. I was in Winnipeg at that time. And interestingly enough, I worked for a little organization called the Winnipeg Jets in and around those years. I worked in their retail store. And so what's particularly interesting to me about this series is I had the opportunity to meet Keith Kachuk a few times when he was with the Jets. And I'm super excited that his kiddo is now playing hockey in our city. So that's, uh, that's kind of a cool connection for me. Pretty crazy for everybody, but I mean, this this is almost a way to have. Like, I remember 1990. I don't know many, many in here do, but I remember 1991. I mean, it's kind of like two generations getting to share kind of memories from the old one, and now they get to experience it. The new generation. What does it mean for Calgary? You know, um, I can remember back in '04 when we were in the running and how exciting that was, and uh, like my kids turning 18. Um, you know, in a few months, and I can remember being pregnant at that time and thinking, wow, this is amazing, and here we are. I'm not pregnant this time, by the way. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's just you have those memories. You remember where you were, where you were watching the game, and the run is just so exciting. Um, the sea of red is just an incredible thing. I think what it means for Calgary right now is that there's something to look forward to. It's a true sense of community. Uh, we are all Flames fans now, you know. <laughs> Whether people weren't before, they have to be right now. And the team has done so much for the community over time, especially in the last couple of years during the pandemic. The players, the administration, so many people involved with the organization have given of their hearts and, and their wallets. Quite honestly, a lot of financial contributions come from that team to our community and their families are part of our community. So I'm excited for everybody, excited for all of us to bring down Edmonton um, and wishing the team nothing but the best. Is that a bylaw that we're going to put in? I'm going yeah. to decree it. I decree a win. <laughs> well, on that note, what's the, do you have predictions? Are you going to say your predictions? 
I'm not going to say my prediction. I don't want to jinx anything. It's like watching the game last night, sitting there, nail biter, trying not to say anything on the <laughs> Twitters until we won. So I'm going to be quiet. I'm just going to let them win. Mayor. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, Typically, it's usually just the mayors that uh, do the bets back uh, between the two of them. And it's nice to see councils getting involved. So, yeah, no, it hasn't been done before. Yeah, and Councillor DeLong has been fantastic. He has reached out to his colleagues in Edmonton to make sure they're all ready to wear our jerseys when they lose. So it's good. It's a collaborative effort. You know what? If we're going to support our home team, we have to be a home team. Exactly. Is that like you send them the jerseys, or do they have to buy their own? I think they should buy their own to support our economy. <laughs> Seems fair. There's going to be a lot of life on the Avenue and elsewhere in the city, including Flames and Oilers fans uh, mingling. What message would you have to fans in terms of the conduct over the next two weeks? I think fans have demonstrated to us that um, they're excited about this game. They're, uh, they've been excited about the past series. I think there'll be even more excitement about the next series. And people have treated each other with respect. And I think that's what I'm looking for. I think that's what all of... Calgary and Edmonton are looking for is let's continue to treat each other with respect. It's a friendly rivalry that's gone on for a very long time and let's make sure we uh, we do it in the most amazing way possible so that kids and their families and all fans can celebrate. Have fun but keep it fun. What's the economic impact here? I mean for businesses of the downtown and elsewhere with the series? Um, the financial impact will be felt uh, a great deal by a lot of the restaurants and sports bars and frankly, anybody who's down here, because it's, it's been a long time since we've had so many people coming downtown and coming into, you know, our city to celebrate something as big as this. So I'm looking forward to hosting everyone, and I think businesses are pretty excited about the opportunity. Mary, see the reaction from last night's Game 7 win. We see fans flood out of the Saddle Dome, flood out of the Red Lots, and just super excitement in this city. Can you envision uh, down the road a, a new arena where those celebrations <laughs> well, as everyone knows, in January of this year, this council made a unanimous decision to ask a third party to go and consult with any active partners about what this deal could look like. Uh, we will be hearing a report back to City Council next week, I believe. So, you know what? The, uh, the dream lives on. Thank you very much.